Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to look at power relationships. So let's get started. The first power relationship we'll look at is the one for power, current and voltage. And we have an equation relating power P, current I and voltage V. And it says that P equals IV. And you will get this equation on the relationship sheet in your exam. So it says that P is power measured in watts, I is current measured in amperes and V is voltage measured in volts. So we've seen all of these terms before and all this is saying is that in order to calculate a power, you can use the current times the voltage if you're given values of current and voltage. So you would want to use this one if you know values for current and voltage and you're asked to find a power. The next power relationship we have is one involving power, current and resistance. And we can use some equations that we've already seen now in order to derive an expression for power in terms of current and resistance. So since we now know that power equals current times voltage, P equals IV, and an old familiar one from Ohm's law, V equals IR, if we substitute for V in this equation by putting the IR from here into the V and P equals IV, then we end up with P equals I times IR, and I times I gives us I squared. So we end up with P equals I squared times R, or P equals I squared R. So notice we've got a current squared term and it's important to remember to square this current term when you're doing problems involving this equation. So P is power measured in watts, I is current in amperes, and R is resistance measured in ohms. So if you're given a current and a resistance in a question, then you can calculate the power using those values. Now the last relationship for power is one involving power, voltage and resistance. And we can derive another expression similar to what we just did, but this time for power, voltage and resistance. So since P equals IV and V equals IR from Ohm's law, we can rearrange the latter, so V equals IR, for I. And if we do that, we get I equals V over R. Now, if we substitute this I into P equals IV, then we get P equals V over R times V, but notice that we now have V times V, which gives us V squared. So this gives us a new equation, P equals V squared over R, where P is power measured in watts, V is voltage measured in volts, and R is resistance measured in ohms. So if you're given a voltage and a resistance in a question, then you can calculate power using this equation. So as a little summary, have a look at this. So we've got our four power equations here and you'll find all of these on the relationship sheet in the exam. So we have P equals E over T, power equals energy over time. P equals IV, that's power equals current times voltage. P equals I squared R, that's power equals the current squared times the resistance. And P equals V squared over R, that's power equals the voltage squared divided by the resistance. So all you need to do is when you're given a question, you need to decide which information you have and therefore which of these equations you're going to use to calculate power. So if it's an energy and a time you're dealing with, you're going to use this one. If it's a current and a voltage, you would use this one. If it's a current and a resistance though, you would use this one. And lastly, if it's a voltage and resistance, you would use this one. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.